myself Manesh Kumar. I'm from EC Department. I'm going to present a model graphic like you see triple pi IC. After this presentation, you have an idea about what is triple pi IC, what is it working, and its internal structures. Now we move on to the presentation. What is triple pi IC? Yeah. This is the internal structure of the triple pi IC. It was designed by the Hand Campbell in 1971. It is a various range of application it has. And the main reason for the triple pi IC is, I will say it's a slide. And this is a pin diagram of the triple pi IC. It has 8 pins. Here the internal structure of the triple pi IC. It is a voltage divider, comparator and other split block. The NPN transistor is used and the driver. First we move on with voltage divider. The three resistors are connected in series. If two resistors are connected in series, if we divide a six voltage, then three voltage in this terminal and here three voltage. If a three resistors are connected in series, if we give a six voltage means then we have 2 voltage will be there and we have be a 4 voltage. Now it is a 5K resistor, 3 resistors are 5K resistor. And if we give a 9 voltage, it means here 2 by 3 and here 1 by 3 voltage will be there. The name reason of the triple pair is, is the entry position. 5K, 5K, 5K. This is the name reason for triple pair. And the comparator. The working principle is based like a bobom. It is a Inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal. Here are also inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal. Non-inverting terminal should be a higher voltage compared to the inverting terminal. When the higher voltage is richer than the output, here are also same as the trigger. If we need to generate a signal using a triple pi IC, then we need to give an input as a start as a pulse. Then only we will be generating the signal using the triple pi IC. Then we can go for all split pop. As you learn in the DPSP, digital principle and system design, uh, they will truth they will the flip top all split pop. Set reset. If 0 is 0, there is no change. What is the initial value? The same will be there. If set is 0 and the reset is 1, then Q bar is will be a 1. In this triple pay, I will use the Q bar, not Q. Q is to reset the triple and the second third one is 1, 0, it's a Q is 1. The last condition will not be used it is uh, if the triple triple pair is small function will be up. Here. When the voltage is higher, then it will be output is 1. With the other set of numbers 1 means it will be going to the next. They use at the NPN transistor, then first we can go for the reset. What is the reason? For certain working in a triple pay IC, there is a wall function. Then we need to be reset this means. This will be always in a higher voltage. Now by connecting the lower voltage at ground or an IP terminal, it will be the function will be reset. By giving the low voltage to here, the function will be again be normal. Next the MPN transistor is used. When the Q bar is high voltage, to discharge this MPN transistor and high voltage is to switch it acts as a switch node transistor. Then it's open and discharges. This is a simple principle it's used here. And divider is used to driver is used to Q bar to Q. Okay. Next we can go over the simple diagram of a one LED to glow with using that will be it. Here is a circuit diagram. Here are two resistors and connected and here a capacitor is connected. Here is the LED. Okay. As soon as we given a voltage, first it will be current, the capacitor is zero, this is zero condition. As zero condition means the current goes through the two terminal and the light is solved. As soon as the capacitor charge reaches to the two by three, it will I say I told already two by three, the three resistors are connected in the series fields. As soon as the capacitor reaches the two by three level, there will be a this this be disconnected. Here, last diagram you are fixing right. Here, this will be disconnected and the light stop low after reaching two by. Again, the discharges it reaches 
zero, then lights are two. This will be cycle. Yes, this is my model traffic light circuit diagram. Here I listen the two ICs and green, yellow, red, and five components. You can see how it works. First of all, this is a main circuit. From the main circuit, we have been taken an output to the second circuit. As far as the voltage is given, first the here is a zero. The capacitor is not charged, it is in a discharge condition. So the output terminal goes to the this LED and this LED start to As far as the this capacitor, this capacitor start to charge. Okay. This capacitor starts to charge us and reaches the 2 by 3 voltage. Then the, this line will be cut off and this will be started. To and this will be this capacitor will be charged and reaches the 2 by 3 voltage. This LED will be started to go and this will be done. This is my simple battery light and 